guys my name is rage and we are back today with another video guide and playthrough for you all in today's video we are going to be going through the next tier for gold rush uh it's going to be tier 11 here that i've three stars successfully already and it's going to be utilizing my symbiote roster because fortunately um for this it does require uh city heroes and fortunately um all of our characters in the symbiote roster here are city so here let's dive into the roster and then i'll show you guys the gameplay First and foremost, I do have quite a formidable Symbiote Spider-Man here at 65k. As you can see, I've T4 both his basic as well as his passive to really allow his uh, Symbiote roster to flourish. And as you can see here with his ISO 8, I do have the level 2 Raider here just to apply those critical hits in addition to increasing his critical hit chance as well. Next, Anti-Venom, a tier 11 here with a 50k. Um, I got, fortunately got him with the 5 red. And with him, no T4s on his abilities, but as you can see here with ISO 8, I did give him the level 2 striker to not only increase his health, but additionally, he's going to work hand in hand with Symbiote to apply those extra targets uh, when, when there's an opportunity to do so. Carnage here, tier 12 at almost 50k, no T4s on his abilities. And for his ISO 8 here, I do have him at the level 2 Skirmisher working hand in hand with both skir uh, Symbiote as well as Anti-Venom, applying those vulnerabilities and really letting the strikers on our team flourish. Next, Venom here at tier 10, 36k, a little bit lower, but you know what? We just need him for the ability block, and really, he's going to be providing some extra debuffs on the team. 3 red, in addition, um, no T4s on his abilities. With the ISO 80 here, he does only have the level 1 striker. I am going to boost that up, but just haven't had the opportunity to do so. Last but not least, you guys, Scream is going to be providing extra benefits uh, to the team, especially when a target falls. She's 35k with the 3 red here, no T4s on her abilities, and tier 10 as well. And last but not least, she also has the Raider, similar to Symbio, being able to kind of spread out those uh, those critical hit damages. So there you guys have it. That's my roster right now. So let's dive right into the playthrough here. So challenges, gold rush, and we're just gonna dive right through and show you. I'll show you guys the overall strategy here. So total power is 237k, almost 238. Um, you know, the only thing I will mention is you know. If you guys don't have Scream or uh, Anti-Venom, you know, definitely consider using these other characters here that are city base as well. Personally, I'd recommend Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, just because they are the tankier ones out of the bunch, and they will survive um, working hand-in-hand -hand with your Symbiote roster. Um, you could probably do it with Symbi uh, Symbiote Spider-Man, Carnage, as well as Venom if you don't have Anti-Venom and Scream. Just, so just a heads up, you guys. This is just more so a guy to show you the battle playthrough um attack formation and the overall strategy as you guys progress through this so starting off here you are you are going to see that we're facing up against only three characters at the beginning here miss marvel spider-man and daredevil um honestly miss marvel is quite tanky and she does heal herself but i do like taking down um, Daredevil just because he does the most damage out of the bunch here. Spider-Man is pretty squishy so we can leave him be. He won't be that much of an issue. And as you can see with Carnage almost using his ultimate, he actually almost takes down Daredevil by himself. So very nice to see. And the reason I like the Symbiote roster for this, um, this synergy here you guys is because of the fact that Anti-Venom is going to have a revive if anybody falls. And that's something that none of the other uh, CD characters have, right? So just keep that in mind here. We're going to go ahead use uh, Anti-Venom's ultimate there just to really provide us some buffs, especially the offense up, extra damage. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and just finish off um, Miss Marvel here if we can. And that, will, that should technically spawn the next wave. So, but I'm not, it's not really a, it's not really hard for these guys just because their synergy is so amazing. And the fact that they have so many debuffs on the team and the speed ups. So as you can see there, taking them down, we do spawn a massive, massive cluster here of the Sinister Six. So um, unfortunately, it does look like these Mysterios are real. So we'll go ahead. I actually like taking down Vulture first, just because of his DPS, the fact that he can decrease our speed, which goes against what we um, synergize within our team, right? So I activated the special there ability of um, Anti-Venom just to provide immunity in case uh, they do have any negatives impacting us. But we're gonna go ahead now, use Carnage. Um, for, for the attack formation here, you guys, I would actually focus on taking down the Vultures first. But what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go ahead and stun uh, Rhino there just to make sure he doesn't have a move, uh, you know, especially if he has a taunt, right? So um, right from the get-go, we are going to want to take down one of the Vultures as soon as possible because what's going to happen is um, the, the Symbiote roster runs on damage being done as well as targets being taken down. So as we take down targets, we're going to get more speed up. We're going to get buffs from, at, from Scream on our roster. So that's why it's really important if you guys have the chance to utilize this full roster. I don't think you guys will have an issue 
this node used to be an issue for a lot of characters, but that's also because previously with the City Heroes, there wasn't a team like the Symbio roster where there was a revive available. And the fact that we just get so many attacks before they can even move is absolutely unreal. So we're going to go ahead now, you Symbiote Spider-Man. I like spreading him out at the corner because he bounces attacks, chains, and he applies a lot of defense down, which works really hand in hand for us. So at this point, really, I'm kind of just spreading damage, uh, really just trying to see uh, apply additional benefit to our team, especially with them getting so much attacks on us. And as you can see, taking down that Mysterio did spawn his two clones, so we'll go ahead. Um, I'm actually going to leave the clones there because they now count towards the enemies remaining. And that means that, you know, we can actually drag this out longer and just finish off the targets we need to take down. So many more clones, as you can see there. And again, these guys are all clones, so they're going to get one-shotted. I'm going to go ahead and just target uh, the, the, the actual Mysterio, not the fake ones. Because what's going to happen is our chain attacks will take them out anyway, so not a big deal. And I'd rather have these guys alive rather than the real thing. So um, now that there's only like fake Mysterios here, we'll go ahead now and start our assault on Rhino here. And as you can see, um, because of this strategy, we're basically just left with a boatload of clones here. And we can actually finish off the real characters. And it still doesn't spawn the next wave, which is really, which is beautiful for us. So as you can see there, I'm going to go ahead and use a special just to inflict that massive burst because of the negatives that Rhino has on. And we're going to save Simul Spider-Man's ultimate as well as a special just for the next wave because the moment we take him down it should technically spawn the next wave if not we're just dealing with a bunch of mysterio clones anyways so not an issue for us but yes i uh, i was watching youtube earlier youtube videos earlier from this node that you know a lot of players had a hard time before they needed some pretty strong team just because we didn't have this type of synergy in the game before so um that does spawn in the last wave you guys it would be chavez uh daredevil miss marvel chavez actually does the most damage out of this bunch so i'm actually gonna go ahead and let's see here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stun miss marvel that way she can't taunt um hopefully it doesn't activate when she's stunned and then we're gonna go ahead now and actually finish off miss marvel here so beautiful we just want to keep inflicting all these negatives as you can see um these guys are not getting a turn at all it's absolutely beautiful so i mean if you guys have this five-man roster my team was um you know close to 230 240k here but um if you guys you can you guys probably do with a lower team to be honest because as you can see here my symbiote's my symbiote roster isn't struggling at all they're just having so many attacks before the enemies can even move absolutely unreal as you guys can see like i you you honestly could probably want to win this but i want to show you guys the attack order for sure just uh, that way if you're not using this full five man roster um obviously you can uh learn from it and see what the attack order will be especially that crucial um uh wave where essentially you want to keep the mysterials there to really kind of create a, a cushioning wave before the actual wave comes so as you can see here um like we're so streamlined these guys aren't even able to really attack us at all absolutely beautiful synergy here so there we go um because miles is uh, invisible we're just gonna go ahead and then finish off spider-man before we go ahead and attack miles there you go and go ahead and flick that burst special beautiful i love carnage for that and every time we take down a target just gives us more buffs absolutely unreal synergy so there you guys have it um made it look easy obviously but that's also because um it's not because of me it's honestly because of the roster right this very very unreal roster and power and especially what these guys bring to the table so once again you guys i did it with a 238k team here but um you could honestly probably do with a 200 to 210k symbiote team because um their synergy is absolutely unreal um it's the fact that they get so many attacks in before the enemies can even move and that's why it's so crucial again if you don't have anti-venom or scream i'd recommend having iron fist luke cage or jessica jones to really provide that cleansing on the team to really be able to provide some buffs and I like Iron Fist because he can self-sustain. So there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed this video as always um, for that Gold Rush tier event. And I'll, I'll continue to keep making videos with lower teams as I progress. So thank you as always, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.